start menu and type windows features select the very first option go down and select windows subsystem for linux another option is the virtual machine platform so we will enable this option as well it will take some time for the changes to apply and after the changes we will make a restart so it's completed let's restart after the restart we will go to windows store and in the search you will type ubuntu you can install any ubuntu version i'm selecting first and let's make the installation this will take some time in downloading so after the download we will open it so the downloading is completed let's open this like this so you can see we got an error and the error is WSL2 requires an update to its kernel so in order to fix that we will install WSL2 updater so simply go to your browser and we'll type WSL2 install and select the second option from here you will select manual install steps and we'll download this WSL2 kernel update let's open it and let's finish it now let's open Ubuntu again so now you can see it's installing so it will take some time and after that we will give the username to this uh, subsystem so this is the username you can type any username I'm typing Linux Hunter and the password you can set any password and remember this password so we got the terminal let's verify who am i command so it's completed